If you need to know what device your app is running on, like the manufacturer or the model, or maybe you know you want to know if it's running on a tablet or a TV uh, or some other stuff, you know maybe the version of the iOS that you're running on, then I have the APIs for you. With Xamarin Essentials, you can use the Device Info API to get all of this and even more. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to do that. So here we see a file new Xamarin Forms application running on the left side in Visual Studio uh, for Mac 2019. On the right, we can see the iOS um, simulator, which is showing the output of the Visual Studio on the left. Um, this is the template that you will get out of the box whenever you start a new Xamarin Forms application from Visual Studio uh, 2019 on Windows or for Mac, as you can see, running it here. So this gives us a little nice starting position. Um, so let's do the important thing first and let's make this the device info sample right here. Uh, save that and with the power of hot reload, you can see that it updates here on the right. So that is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to need a couple of additional labels. So I'm going to remove these. And because, you know, this is in a stack layout, it will just stack these labels nicely. So I will take this big one so we can see the output nice and clean on our screen. Um, and I will just do one, two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, six seven, seven, maybe. Um, no, let's let's keep it at six. We'll see where we land. So, and the cool thing is, uh, whenever we have this on the same line, so let's make this a little bit smaller. This is a little pro tip, and we go right here to the end of the label, and you hold the Option key and you drag the cursor down here. You can do multiple cursors at once. So now I can type on all these lines at the same time, give them all a name. Here we go, X name, and now our multiple cursors are gone. And so now um, let's actually do the same thing here for this little text because I wanted to, whoops, remove that as well, go away, little simulator. Um, so let's do this. We can also, you know, select all of this. So there we go. Um, save it. And with hot reload, you can see it updates to nothing. So that's cool. All right. So let's keep this here. Actually, let's keep them on these same lines. That makes it a little bit easier. And um, I'm going to do the, the names here. So this is going to be the device type. What else do we have? We are going to have the model the manufacturer and what more, uh, the name, the version, come on, version and uh, what more, the platform. Let's do the platform, that's cool. I think there's a couple of others in there, but uh, we'll do these first. So now we have a couple of labels. You don't see them right now, but they're here. Um, so whenever I put something in there and I save it, you can see it showing up, but we will fix that by implementing our little device info thing. So let's remove this one and go to our code behind of the main page right here. So um, open up this little XAML page and we go to the XAML CS. Here we go. Um, now the Xamarin Essentials package is already installed in this project. Um, if you have not done so already, just go to your um, project or your solution level, just say manage NuGet package and you want to install the Xamarin Essentials one. Um, it is installed by default if you start a new application today. Um, but you know, if for some reason you don't have it yet, or maybe you need to update, then this is the way to do that. So I'm going to add here the right using Xamarin.Essentials, which makes it a little bit easier to use these APIs. Um, and now I can just start typing here with like, I don't know, what was the first one? Um, device type. Uh, dot text, sorry, dot text is, and here we can see all the uh, APIs that are in the device info class right here. So um, if I do this and um, I type a little dot and you can see we have the device type. So that gets the type of the device the application is running on. This will be um, virtual or physical, um, I think. So, you know, you can detect if you're running on a simulator or on a actual physical device. Um, the idiom, I haven't created a field for that, but that is basically, this is also built in Xamarin Forms directly 
easily, um, but you can also use this one if that's what you want. Um, it's a little duplicate API, so maybe some uh, one of these will, will disappear in the future, who knows? Um, but this will tell you if you're running on a tablet or a watch or a, a phone or a TV, um, I don't know, or maybe a unknown. I think that is also one of the values that it can have. So you don't know on what kind of device you're running. Uh, but with this, you can detect on what kind of yeah view port or form factor you're running. Then below that, we have the manufacturer. So that's the manufacturer of the phone. In the case of the iPhone, that will probably be Apple. But in case of Android phones, it can be Samsung or Huawei. It, I don't know how to pronounce that, but you know, it can be any of those um, other things. OnePlus, I don't know, name all the uh, manufacturers of, of Android devices. Um, then this will be the actual model. So this is going to be like, you know, uh, for a Samsung thing, it can be SMG-950U. Um, and for Apple phones, that's, that's where things come uh, interesting because they will have like this weird identifier that's basically like an only internal name. So it can be like iPhone 10 comma six uh, or something like that. And there isn't really an official guide on how to convert that to the right iPhone um, hardware. Uh, but there are unofficial sources. I will link them in the video description below where you can see like what identifier uh, corresponds to which iPhone device or iOS device. Um, so you can make your own assumptions based on that. But do note that this is not something official. Um, so there's no real official conversion from one to the other. Um, you have to implement something like that yourself. Also, another note, not just for the model, but for some other things as well, I think, is that uh, the values that show up in the simulator or the emulator might be a little bit different from the things that you will see in like the actual physical device. Um, I think like the model will show up like, I don't know, uh, like the, the platform identifier. So like x86 underscore 64 or something for the uh, iOS simulator. We'll see in a little bit. Um, so make sure that you run it on a physical device to see what the actual numbers will be on that physical device. Uh, below that, we have the name. So this will be the name that um, the user has given to their device. So, you know, in my case, it would be Gerald's iPhone or something like that. Um, or it can be anything because, you know, this is just the name that your user gave to their device themselves. Um, so so this can be um, used for that. Um, the platform. So that is going to be Android or iOS or all the other platforms that are implemented uh, for this API. I think UWP is also implemented for this. So um, um, that is the values that you can expect from this. And here we have the version, which is going to be the version of the installed operating system. Um, in this case, it's going to be an actual like system.version object. Uh, you also have the version string, which basically is the two string of like that version object here at the top. Um, so that are all these things. Um, let's just implement these. The device type is a enum. So let's do the two string on that. Um, what else did we have? Let's see if we can copy and paste all these things. Um, it's giving a little errors because of the hot reload stuff, I think. You can also use this to copy and paste stuff, which is not really ideal because I'm getting a lot of noise in there as well. But you know, um, oh, I already had the device type. So there's that. Uh, model.text is, there we go, manufacturer.text is, name.text is, version.text is, and platform.text is there we go so now we have them all um let's see device info whoops device info dot model uh, i think these are all strings so device info dot manufacturer uh, device info dot name the version so i'm going to use the version uh string for this uh and not the actual version object and the platform so there we go device info uh, platform. There we go. Uh, now this is changes in code. So I need to uh, stop running this and start it again. So let's wait for that to come up. And an element with the same name already exists. Well, I don't think that is correct Visual Studio. So let's save that again and restart. I think this last error is the actual one. See, there we go. So our platform is also a enum. There we go. So let's run this. And I think the errors in the XAML will go away. 
because it just needs to regenerate that little bit of code and then see, there we go. All is fine again. So these are the things, like I said, there is something weird going on with the simulator or the emulator as we'll see in Android in a minute. Um, but here we can see the device type. So it's virtual. So we know we're running on the simulator here. Um, then the model is going to be this strange thing um, of like x86-64. Uh, so normally this would be on iPhone, something like iPhone 10 comma six. Um, I don't know which this actually, actually this phone is. It might be an iPhone X or something. Um, so, you know, uh, find it in the video description below. Manufacturer is Apple, of course. Uh, so the name in this case, it's just iPhone 12 that is named in, um, you know, this, this simulator that just has this name. Um, usually for iPhones, at least it will have your first name and then uh, the, the device type. So it will be Gerald's iPhone or something like that. Um, the version string, so this is 14.2, iOS 14.2. You can see it here all the way at the top. This is a simulator for the latest iOS version. And then our platform is iOS, or this could be also be Android. So if I stop running this one and switch over to um, Android, so if we do that one, select the right emulator, um, I probably want to go out of full screen mode here because the Android emulator doesn't really do well with the full screen modes. So let's make this a little bit bigger. And here we go. We see the same thing virtual and also a little bit of weird values because we are using the emulator. Um, so this is the model. This would typically be the model of your actual phone. So in case of Samsung's, um, that might be the SMG 950 U or something like that. You know, those cryptic value names. Um, the manufacturer is Google in this case, because, you know, this is just some pixel emulator, I think. Again, the name is kind of like the, the same value, it seems. So uh, users can specify this themselves. Versions, in this case, it's Android 10, and the platform is actually Android. So here you can see all the device info that you can get out of these APIs. There was one more. You can also get the idiom, which is um, quite cool. So um, this is how you can get the device info from Xamarin Essentials to use for your application. Easy peasy. That's all, just device info dot whatever, and you can get all that information out of there. So now you can customize your layouts according to a different OS or to a different um, uh, model type, because you know, maybe that iPhone X has that really cool looking notch, but you know, you have to uh, take into account some design layout things there. Um, that's what you can do with device info and much more. Let me know in the comments what you are doing with the device info. Uh, maybe I've missed some other cool applications that you might have for these APIs. Um, I'd love to know. And also let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. As always, like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you've liked this content and want to be updated on everything that's going on here and I'll be seeing you for my next video.